From the fascinating personalities of crayfish to the captivating allure of rainbow fish, these are not your typical buddies. These are your brave comrades, stepping up to live alongside our feisty protagonist. Here are the top 10 tank mates for your crayfish. Starting on the list with its own species, uh, they're a crayfish. I, I know, I know. You might wonder, what? Is this even possible? Housing two crayfish in the same tank? Hmm, seems like a recipe for disaster, but bro, calm down. If done correctly, having two crayfish from the same species in a tank can be possible. You just need to have plenty of room for multiple adult specimens and enough places for them to hide in in order to prevent any territorial issues. At a minimum, a four-foot tank is required to attempt. Given their inherently aggressive nature, it remains a risky endeavor demanding vigilant observation. So be prepared to intervene if disputes arise or if one of the individuals asserts dominance, particularly males as they're more predisposed to aggressive behavior towards their own kind. Speedy Zebra Danios makes it on our list. These fish are popular schooling fish and so well suited to live alongside our crayfish. Their swift movements make them hard to catch and their surface dwelling nature reduces the likelihood of direct interaction with bottom dwelling species like crayfish. For beginning aquarists as well as experienced ones alike, these colorful little swimmers possess several appealing qualities. They're easy keepers, tolerant of a range of water parameters and eye catching in any setup. They're also admittedly cheap, so they're not that bad to replace if they happen to get eaten. Oh, by the way, if you want to know some other cheap fish, check out the card above. Anyway, to ensure a sense of security around crayfish, it's recommended to keep them in larger numbers and keeping them both together in a longer tank. As long as you have a bigger tank, they're a relatively safe choice as a crayfish tank mate. Live bears could also be great buddies for our crayfish. Blue crayfish, which are a popular crayfish species, can coexist harmoniously with compatible tank mates like guppies, mollies, and swordtails. These fast reproducing fish tend to stay near the tank surface, minimizing interaction with the crayfish. Their prolific breeding helps maintain their population, acting as a natural replenishment of sorts. Now, to safeguard live bearers, ensure the crayfish is well fed to reduce the risk of them preying on these tank mates. Keep in mind, the baby live bears can and probably will become snacks for your crayfish. Quick and peaceful, let's give it up for the Japanese rice fish on the list. Known for their speed and tranquil nature, rice fish could also make a great addition to your tank with crayfish. Although they might venture to the tank's bottom where escape is challenging, their swift movements aid in avoiding crayfish. Mimicking their natural habitat near rice paddies, floating plants are advised to encourage rice fish to stay near the tank's surface providing a safer environment and reducing the likelihood of encounters with crayfish. If you want this little fella, go check it out here. The Japanese rice fish that are commonly overlooked fish suited for freshwater aquascapes. Very peaceful and hardy fish that will color up with companions. With pencil fish near the top, crayfish can't harm them, making your tank a charm. Having fish that hang out near the top like pencil fish are an awesome addition to your tank because crayfish won't bother them. These calm swimmers usually chill near the water surface, staying safe from crayfish. Feeding them is a breeze too. Pencil fish won't always eat food that sinks to the bottom, so you can easily feed them in the crayfish without any trouble. It's like having a cool feeding strategy for both of your aquatic buddies. Calm and speedy, white cloud mountain minnows make such a great buddy. These peaceful and swift fish like to hang out in the middle or up top, steering clear of trouble, but still. It's important to observe their interactions closely in case any problems arise between these two aquatic creatures. To ensure a harmonious tank life, provide hiding spots and maintain top-notch water conditions. Boost their squad numbers to help them feel at ease, and just like with Danios, have a larger tank so they've got plenty of room to get away. Silver dollars are big and fast, which make them a match to add to your tank. Owing to their big size, rapid swimming abilities, and a tendency to school, silver dollars can peacefully coexist with crayfish. Their preference for staying in large groups acts as a protective measure, making it challenging for crustaceans to single them out as prey. The significant size of adult silver dollars reaching up to six inches, coupled with their impressive speed, serves as a deterrent to potential predators like crayfish. However, vigilance is essential to ensure a harmonious aquarium environment, as even with these advantages, a hungry crayfish might attempt to prey on them. Although adult silver dollars possess characteristics that make them less appealing targets, it's crucial to maintain a watchful eye and foster a well-balanced tank atmosphere when sharing space with crayfish. Not your typical combination, but with proper choices, goldfish and crayfish can also be great besties. At a first glance, pairing fancy tail goldfish with crayfish might seem like a risky venture, given the inherent challenges posed by the slower swimming tendencies and genetic mutations of fancy tail varieties. 
The fear is that these unique traits could make them vulnerable to a predator like a crayfish. However, with careful breed selection, goldfish breeds such as Shabunkin, Comets, and Fantail goldfish known for their bulk and speed prove to be unlikely targets for crayfish. Now, while slower swimming goldfish might be perceived as potential prey by crayfish, and the substrate scavenging behavior of goldfish might expose them to the crayfish, choosing larger goldfish breeds and regularly monitoring their shared environment for signs of aggression can mitigate potential risks. It's crucial to exercise caution, but with the right breeds and attentive care, this unusual combination can be achieved successfully. Number 9 on our list is the hatchetfish. Hatchetfish, being surface dwellers, can naturally avoid crayfish encounters. These fish prefer the top of the tank and won't go after food that sinks, making it convenient to feed both without any fuss and ensures they stay away from each other. They also thrive in groups and feel most secure in a spacious environment, so maintaining a large tank here is key to their well-being. You just can't go wrong with the wonderful rainbow fish, our next great candidate. These species of fish make great companions for crayfish in many setups due to their compatibility. These swift swimmers typically stay near the top of the tank but still warrant close observation. To provide a refuge from potential dangers at the aquarium's bottom, ample hiding spots are essential for the safety of all occupants. Rainbowfish thrive in large schools, and the bigger the school, the lower the risk of the crayfish nibbling on the group. There are more fish that can work, but we listed, in our opinion, the best choices here. We've also found some honorable mentions from some other sources, but here's a reason why we culled them out on our list. First is the red tail sharks. Majestic in size, but with age, a gradual slowdown in speed, so that's a no. Then, the golden wonder killifish. Dwelling near the surface, yet not as safe as other listed companions. For the African butterfly fish, we got a solid choice here, but they demand a more extensive tank for optimal thriving. And no love to give today for our Tiger Bob. Overly curious, which might be a trait that could lead to unintended consequences. I know, I know. What about Bala Sharks? Best suited for spacious habitats, requiring an exceptionally large tank. Well, then there's Neon Tetras frequently mentioned, although they exhibit a lower success rate compared to Danios. And lastly, Cichlids. A tricky choice, with size discrepancies either too small to resist predation or too large and aggressive posing a threat to the crayfish post-molting. You might wonder why our list is not a picture-perfect list as they still pose some danger. Well, here's why. First, all fish tank mates do carry risk for crayfish. They could potentially become a tasty meal, and second, while larger aggressive fish might seem like a safe choice, post-molting crayfish could be perceived as potential prey. So, our selection is based on compatibility with crayfish and adherence to suitable tank size and conditions. Remember, while all fish face some risk, we've chosen those with the lowest likelihood of becoming a crayfish snack, hence the list. Another question might be raised, are crayfish really aggressive? Well, let's explain their nature a bit here. Yes, most species of freshwater crayfish are aggressive, especially when breeding, which makes selecting suitable companions pretty tricky. They might regard their fellow inhabitants as a food source or potential competition for resources. To establish a harmonious environment, consider water parameters like temperature, pH balance, and hardness to cater to both crayfish and potential partners. Adequate space and hiding spots within the tank are essential to prevent territorial disputes among occupants. Here's our tip. When choosing tank mates, prioritize fish that can swiftly avoid aggressive encounters and stay away from the tank's bottom, with surface dwelling species preferable. Understanding the specific crayfish species temperament is also important, as aggression levels might vary based on factors like size, age, or environmental conditions. Additionally, different crayfish types such as dwarf crayfish and electric blue crayfish have varying success rates in community tanks, with tank size and water parameters playing critical roles in their compatibility. For instance, maintaining pH levels between 6.5 and 7.5, a temperature range of 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 24 degrees Celsius, and providing ample space are vital considerations for creating an ideal tank environment. Tank size also plays an important role when it comes to selecting which species can inhabit the same aquarium as your pet crayfish. 55 gallons is considered enough space for species such as electric blue crayfish, although larger aquariums are recommended if more fish will join them too. Having said that, make sure everyone has an adequate amount of room so they might thrive without any impediments or overcrowding issues arising down the line. There are also some questions raised from our readers, so let's try to answer them. 
First, can crayfish live with cichlids? Straight answer, no. Crayfish cannot be kept with cichlids. With larger cichlids, they'll tolerate each other and the crayfish won't see them as prey. But when the crayfish molts, they're vulnerable. During this time, your larger cichlids will find the crayfish irresistible and they're gonna try to eat it. For small cichlids, they hang around the bottom too much and are too small to be considered safe options. Your crayfish will likely end up eating them. Second question, do crayfish and shrimp get along? Well, I say it's wise to not house crayfish and shrimp together because the former might view them as a meal. Just place them in separate tanks because in this way, each type of creature can live without worrying about being hunted or bothered by the other. Keeping them apart helps keep them safe and makes a better home for both species. Another question, can you put a crayfish with a betta? Still, sorry, nope. Betta fish and crayfish don't make good roommates because bettas are slow and might become a tasty snack for crayfish. A better friend for a betta would be a bamboo shrimp, which are big enough to not be seen as food and usually get along pretty peacefully. For crayfish, it's usually best to stick with other crayfish in a big enough tank. Otherwise, all fish and shrimp might end up as the crayfish as snacks. However, if you want to try some safe options, zebra danios, live bears, and white cloud minnows are the way to go. Lastly, how can you provide hiding spots for crayfish and their tank mates? Great question, simple answer. Adding rocks, driftwood, plants, and other decorations to an aquarium can create the perfect hiding spots for both crayfish and their tank mates. And that, folks, is how you can transform your aquarium into a captivating underwater haven. With our list and tips, you can craft a good relationship with crayfish and other tank mates alike. Just don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and comment down below. That way, your crayfish won't fight each other. Okay, just kidding, and happy fish keeping. And before you go, check out the next video on your right for more aquarium goodness.